Hello, my name's Hans, and today at Rimmers we're going to be upgrading the points based distributor to an electronic ignition on a 1981 MGB GT. Before we start, I'm going to time up top dead centre with number one cylinder, and that way, when we remove the distributor, which is much easier to replace the points and put the new ignition system in, we can have a good reference where to refit it when we're finished. OK, we're going to use some Tipex and time the mark the pulley, which is the top dead centre mark there and there. And on the actual pointer, this is top dead centre. These are all before top dead centre, so mark those two, line them up on well, number one cylinder, and we can then remove the distributor. OK, we've unclipped the distributor cap, and note number one HT lead, which is this one. Keep your eye on where the post is remove the cap and make sure that the pointer on the road from is pointing towards that particular post. If it's pointing 180 degrees you need to turn the engine over another turn. When it's pointing this way we can then undo the pinch bolt and withdraw the whole distributor. After removing the vacuum pipe the dipstick comes out of the way that helps access to the bolts and the low tension lead which is plugged in there. Disconnect that and then we can remove it. OK, we have the distributor on the bench. I've carefully removed it. And note, the rotrams pointing and I've tip to mark on the actual distributor body so we can line it back up again in case we move it and it'll go back in the way it came out. OK, we'll remove the rotram and then we need to unscrew the little screw that holds the common instrument and finally the main screw for the points. Carefully remove all the screws and withdraw the points out of the distributor body. OK, we've opened the packet of silicon grease and we're just going to smear a bit onto the bottom, like so. Keep it nice and thick, because when we bolt it on, it'll squeeze out the sides. OK, we're going to clean all the grease and any oil that's inside. And then we can refit the module. Carefully locate, the peg goes in there and the two screws go in the two outer holes. If we offer it up, we can, load, we can get that position and get the first screw in on this side. It is important we use this earth strap because this is a rotating base plate and this module needs to earth through the distributor body to work correctly. Unfortunately, the original screw, when it goes through that piece and the module, it's not really long enough, so we're going to replace it with a slightly longer screw. OK, we've refitted the cable and the longer screw. Just check that when you move it, it's not straining on the cable too much and it's not too loose that it'll catch on anything else. OK, we're going to thread the cables through the hole. I'll put that one through. Just need to gently feed the next one through and then pull it through so that the grommet also comes through the hole. So we've fitted the cable through. I'll very loosely put the tie wrap around the three cables and if we just use a screwdriver we can check that when it moves it's not catching anywhere. Okay, we have the magnetic piece we need to fit onto the centre shaft. Make sure it's lined up with the lobes and it should just slide on. Finally, the rotor cap needs to go on and then turn it round so that it lines up with the tipex mark so that we can refit it back the way it came out. OK, we've lined up the pointer with our tipex mark and we're going to slowly insert it back into the engine. Be gentle. It won't go straight in, but if we rotate the rotor arm, 
just very slightly, we'll see it fine as a bit, and then it's back in the hole. To wire up the electronic ignition, the black wire goes to the connector where the points were connected. That should just plug straight in. There's a small extension wire for the positive supply. That just plugs on, and the other end goes to the positive side of the coil. Make sure you keep the wiring out of any harm's way, and it just plugs onto a spare speed connector. We've refitted the distributed cap. Make sure the clips are firmly fitted and all the leads are plugged in nice and securely. So we've connected up the timing light onto number one HT lead and onto a power point, which in this case is the starter motor. We're using a timing light and we can see the timing marks down there. So we need to then start the engine and rotate the distributor until we get 10 degrees before on this particular model and then we can set the timing. We've now adjusted the timing to 10 degrees before by moving the distributor and uh, when we're happy with that we can tighten up the pinch bolts. So we've tightened up the pinch bolt which is this one and there's another one round the back there which we undid earlier. Put those two bolts up and then recheck the timing and if all's good we can then reconnect lastly the vacuum hose. The beauty of this is now we've fitted an electronic ignition we don't need to rechange points anymore and the timing won't move or vary and we'll get a really good spark under all road conditions.